Hello everyone, welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. I'm Marinda Mukhopadhyay, entrepreneur and business coach. Today we will discuss about 6.5 mm cannulated cancellous screw instruments and fractures it can help fix. Before we go ahead and watch the video, I would like to thank all of our viewers for the love and support they have showered on us. Thanks to you, we have reached 2000 subscribers and crossed 60,000 views in just six months. It would never have been possible without you all. And to show our gratitude, we will soon bring you a surprise. And now let's get back to the video. Today we will discuss about 6.5 mm cannulated cancellous screw and other related screws and instruments. These screws are generally used to fix fractures like femoral neck fractures, femur condylar fractures, tibia condylar fracture, adjunct to DHS in basilar neck fracture and in certain pelvic fractures etc. So let us start with all the screws related to this. This one is 6.5 mm full thread cancellous screw. As you can see it is threaded throughout its length. This one is a 6.5 mm short thread cancellous screw with 16 mm thread. And this one is a 6.5 mm cannulated cancellous screw with 16 mm thread. As you can see, this screw is cannulated, which means it has a hollow central shaft. Washer is provided with all the screws that helps in better compression. Coming to the instruments, we will require guide pin or guide wire, plain and threaded. This one is plain and this one is threaded. 1.8 mm it will be used as per surgeon's preference so we have to provide both next we will require a wire measuring scale to measure the length of the guide pin or the guide wire there are marking on the flat surface to record the length next a 6.5 mm cannulated bone tap is also required next 4.3 mm cannulated drill bit is required it also has got markings in its surface in order to measure how deep it's drilling see here it is cannulated coming to screwdrivers this one is a 4.5 mm cannulated screwdriver see here it's cannulated Next, we will require angle guide. This is a very vital piece of instrument. Next, we will require 4.5 mm solid screwdriver. And lastly, 3.2 mm solid drill bit. Now, let us understand the process of fixing a 6.5 mm cannulated cancellous screw. First, we will fix a guide pin or a guide wire threaded or plain depending upon surgeon's preference in the fracture site thereafter we record the length with the help of a wire measuring scale then we will drill with a 4.3 mm cannulated drill bit Then we will tap with a 6.5 mm cannulated bone tap. In each of these cases, this guide pin or the guide wire will pass through the hollow cannulated region of each equipment. Once the tapping is done, we will take a 6.5 mm cannulated cancellous screw with washer of the measured length and with the help of a 4.5 mm cannulated screwdriver we are going to fix the screw 
Hereafter, we will take out the cannulated screwdriver and the guide wire while the 6.5 mm cannulated cancellor screw stays back. We will use a 4.5 mm solid screwdriver in order to give the final tightening to the screw. Now if we require to fix the solid screws as well, we will use a 3.2 mm solid drill bit. Once the drilling is done, we will take the 6.5 mm short thread or full thread canceller screw, whichever is required to be fixed of measured length and we will also use a washer and then with the help of a 4.5 mm solid screwdriver we will fix the screw in the desired location the solid screwdriver is used to do the final tightening is because if a cannulated screwdriver is used to do this step that might end up breaking the head of the screwdriver Now let us understand the use of this angle guide. This is only used when we require to fix this cannulated cancellor screw 6.5 mm in the hip region or the neck femur. This instrument is used by the surgeon to target the appropriate entry point and trajectory on the bony tissue through which an instrument such as in this case the guide pin or the guide wire is passed. We will check the alignment of the guide pin or the guide wire under the CM to understand the exact and the perfect angle through which this guide wire needs to be fixed so that we can fix the screw in the correct angle. So that will be all for today. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry, and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.